somebody asks, like, how did you get the name Rainbow Drive? And after I graduated, I was in the military for eight years, so I was in the Army Reserve. And um, yeah, I got to deploy um, to the Middle East, uh, I got to travel across the U.S. Yeah, in, that, in those travels, like, you know, I really found, a, I guess, a passion for the possibilities when it comes to desserts and even ice cream. I've been working for the past three years at a rum distillery called Kohana Distillers. Um, and it's really there where I kind of learned about, you know, sourcing ingredients and the commitment to quality and everything over there is you know farm to bottle and I made a lot of connections with a lot of the vendors that we work with at Sage uh, because we you know like to collaborate with other local businesses and farmers and same thing at Kohana is kind of how you know I translated it to Sage too to kind of work with you know Manoa Chocolate, uh, the EA Vanilla Company, uh, Manoa Honey Company and so all these different uh, businesses kind of you know created this little community of, of locally uh, sourced ingredients. It wasn't until probably uh, around 2015 I started tinkering with making my own ice cream at home and so after you know, as I started to grow up I tasted all this awesome ice cream around the world especially in you know California. I found out that Hawaii didn't really have like this really high premium um, uh, ice cream where you know you focus on the ingredients um, and so that's where I started to make batches at home and then uh, um, I found out that you know to my amazement it was better than what I could find in the store. So, so it's all like natural things I try to support local as much as I can so the brie for example was the brie but I wanted to have like something from Hawaii so I call it like taro brie because um, I buy the taro powder, for, the taro powder sorry, from Kauai. It's called Sustainable Boots. And um, I get the taro from them, so it has like, kind of like, you know, like local style cheese. So before opening my business, I was a teacher and I will combine the school with the, my business. But at one point I was doing full-time teaching so at one point it was too much. I uh, have so many clients out of Instagram that I will have to go my, do my full-time job and then go to the kitchen and make cheeses. And one day my husband said, you know what, just quit your job, uh, just dedicate your time to cheeses and just grow it from there. So that's basically, you know, thanks to my husband, kind of, I kind of have more time for myself and to grow the business. About a year, year and a half ago, and around the same time, I had a brand new baby niece, a brand new baby nephew born, and all around there was this national study that came out that showed that the majority of the baby food products available at retail were tested and came back positive for heavy metals and toxic chemicals like arsenic and lead. So. That was a shock, to say the least. At the time, I was also looking for a way to become more involved with Hawaii's food systems overall. I had been working in the past few years in the cattle industry locally, and I took a step back to see where we could create more products to help out in utilizing the incredible ingredients that our farming partners were growing, and then also help fill holes on the retail shelves. So that's where baby food came from. There was absolutely no local retail baby food available but we have all of these incredible ingredients all around us and some of the best baby foods on earth. Mm -hmm. 